So here in the ribbon, um, I'm starting the inspect simulation tool, and there are um, yeah, uh, three checks that you can do. So we have a, a stream lock angle check. Uh, this is maybe something that you would want to do uh, just to make sure that um, when these simulations were created, that they were not created um, with the um, steer from stop option that you have in auto turn, uh, meaning that uh, when, when this option is on, what happens in the algorithm and what happens in the background is that this vehicle comes to a full stop. You will have full uh, the full uh, range of the steering lock, so the steering direction of this vehicle. And from that point to the next, you will generate a new section. And this is uh, realistically incorrect because while you are steering, you're always traveling a certain distance in the uh, steering rate, so that's the speed that you are turning your uh, steering wheel with. So quickly doing a steering lock check, for example, on this simulation that I have here. So this is a uh, articulated bus that's making uh, this turn right here. And when you do that, uh, you immediately uh, get some feedback from auto turn indicated by this uh, uh, icon with a circle and a uh, wheel with this arrow in it. So it means that um, auto turn in the simulation fi actually finds two positions where this um, steer from a locked or stopped position has occurred. So in this case, when um, your consultant was generating the simulation, it was actually generated with the turn wheels from stop option on at this location and at this location. Here, um, it is exaggerated a little bit, so you can see it, the direction comes in with an arc and immediately jumps to a straight position without any transition whatsoever. So this is what uh, the uh, steering lock angle um, inspect option does. Now I can immediately uh, continue my inspect simulation uh, tool. Uh, I don't even have to close this window and I can uh, check for uh, speed, for example. So let me see uh, what kind of input speeds were used um, and how I want to reflect them in my uh, drawing or how I want to be notified about those speeds. Here in the table and by uh, configuring the input speed ranges, I can set sort of the, the low speeds that might be too low. Then I have my desirable speeds, etc. and above that. Um, in this case, I want to increase those values to uh, this. And uh, let me quickly check uh, the input speed for, um, you know, let's say, in this corner right here. So in this corner, we have uh, two uh, vehicles. We have a, a Mercedes Sprinter and a, a Tesla Model S. Um, Let's inspect this little vehicle right here. And actually what we see is that um, the speed of this vehicle um, is actually very uh, nicely set up. So it's all in the green range. So that's a realistic uh, scenario. Um, but also one other thing that we can uh, test for is the so-called maximum speed. Colors are uh, a bit uh, switched, but I'll just leave them as it is and let AutoTune define uh, what's even possible for uh, such a vehicle when we inspect that. So uh, you can generate simulations with the speed that you would like to um, generate the speeds with, but that might not necessarily be the maximum speed this vehicle can actually uh, perform this turn with. So let's uh, inspect that. And what we have here is that uh, the speed that can be reached for this vehicle along this section are uh, in the uh, plus 20 kilometer per hour range. Then we have a little section where the vehicle needs to uh, 
uh, decelerate and lower speed to safely go around this turn and then accelerate and moving into that uh, turn again. Yes, yeah, so what I want to do now is uh, do sort of a proximity uh, check on uh, this simulation uh, right here and um, what is going on. Uh, I have this simulation making a left turn and I have uh, at the same time um, I'm going to have opposing and oncoming traffic from the other left turn uh, where I want to make sure that we have enough space between those vehicles when they are performing these turns uh, simultaneously. So with the uh, inspect simulation, uh, I need to in, yeah, select the simulation that I want to uh, check for. Um, also, I have a little bar that tells me it's calculating, so we're already finished here. And here you can see that um, the setup was that I'm checking against a specific obstacle layers, and I can choose any uh, layer, for example, uh, that I have uh, set up here. And in my case, I quickly assigned it to layer one, um, where the check was performed uh, against. And uh, here you can see in yellow the area uh, that actually gives me a, a, a warning saying the distance between these two vehicles is in the range of 90 centimeters and two meters. So that is actually uh, something to be mindful of. Still not critical since it's not in uh, yeah, dropping below the 90 centimeter range. Um, so yeah. Looking at those, uh, everything looks yeah, pretty good. Maybe uh, you want to go back to your consultant and say, please adjust and uh, generate a realistic simulation uh, for this vehicle in this turn so that you can better evaluate if the space that you have available for this vehicle is actually uh, enough and uh, safe.